All right, I wanted to talk about what went down yesterday, the fallout, and my feelings about the Envoy program, my feelings about Marvel Strike Force, and my feelings about the future of the game and the situation that mm. happened yesterday. And uh, cooler heads will prevail. So I've got the voice of reason, Valley <laughs> Fly in here. How hello, are you doing? Hello. How are you, how are you doing, more importantly? <laughs> I'm doing fine. Um, Good. I, I, I want to talk about the situation, and I think I think there's some things that I really, really want to say, and I've shared them with you and somebody else, and and both of you said to not say what I really want to say, and I, I think I'm going to be able to word uh, some of it in a way that Scopely will know exactly what hold, I'm talking hold on, about. Let me, let me be clear. I don't want you to break any NDAs. That's yeah, why I don't want you to say yeah. what you want to say, all right? But I do want you to... Find a way to say it without breaking any A's. All right, so we're going to get to that. Why don't we talk about yesterday? You you kind of asked me about this in your video. So there's a similar video. Boy, I was pretty animated in your video. Holy moly, go watch your video. Um, but yesterday, uh, they announced uh, where are the event charts. Going forward, event charts would no longer regularly be in the weekly blog and instead will be presented by select content creators prior to an event going live. Be on the lookout next week for content creator videos showing off the events and their recommendations. And I had a very visceral response to this. There was a call about this, but I do not remember the call anything like this. Like I felt blindsided by this, uh, the way that yeah, it was presented. I wasn't, I wasn't on the call. From what I understand, it was they were talking about removing these because of the inaccuracies, the constant inaccuracies. And when I heard about it, I was like, oh, that's not good. But I understand because they, it doesn't matter what the blog post says because when it goes in game, it's something totally different sometimes. So I was upset initially, but I was like, all right, whatever. The select content creators is what got a lot of people upset also. And I saw a lot of drafts before this, and this was like the final version, the simplified version that uh, went out there. So yeah. what, what was what was your initial response to that? Well, I never saw any of the drafts. I never saw anything. Uh, so I saw this bl blind and I, I got to tell you, like, I wonder what was actually said in that call because I had a visceral response then, but they, they smoothed it over a little bit. Right. And then I was like, OK, I don't know what's going to happen. Like it didn't really I didn't really understand. And then when I saw this, I was like, wow this is bad and then what i saw the fallout from this and and what i saw from a lot of people is not everybody watches content creators um there are other content creators that make videos based off the blog post but th i feel like this is a symptom of two different issues let's talk about the primary issue first the primary issue is you know the blogs were highly inaccurate <laughs> and yes. the way that i the way that i interpreted this entire situation is that they no longer wanted the accountability of publishing the blogs in a timely manner and they wanted the flexibility and um they were going to shut this down and what the result of that was is that there were going to be less eyeballs seeing it people that don't care about youtube or content creators or people that build spreadsheets or people that want to do their own math or people that do whatever were being completely cut out of this process basically because uh they they couldn't get it together to pop what do, i mean what do you think about that part of the the conversation i i think that's totally accurate I, and i was like all right if they're gonna put out bad information we're gonna make bad videos based on bad information uh and they're not gonna be providing that information anymore fine we'll get it when it's in the game and uh it's fine and that's how i thought it was gonna be I, and then I saw something that, oh, they're going to be providing it a week, like a Monday or something like that. And we're, they're going to provide it to the content creators. And then they're going to, I thought it was going to be a blog post. I misread that part because I went back and reread that. It wasn't also going to be a blog post is what it said. But um, yeah, the inaccuracy is bad. So I thought, whatever, we'll see when it goes in the game because we're making all these bad videos with inaccurate information and we got to remake videos and redo calculations. So I was like, all right, just. When it goes live in the game, it's that's how it's going to be. And last week's blog, they were missing some charts. And I was like, all right, we're missing these charts. It's better than not putting out these charts that are wrong, and then we have to redo that stuff. So it's like, whatever. This came out, and I saw the anger. I was like, all right, there's, there's some things that I didn't consider here. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, maybe I didn't understand the situation fully, but I think the result is the same. 
uh, meaning that information was being stripped away from the public. It was given to a select few people. And that was that. And less eyeballs is bad and less access to information early is bad. It's not that complicated, right? There, that, yeah. And I feel like... No, none of that's good. Yeah, and so they did respond. And I just want to say that... Um, from what I can, you got some poor mobile gamers. No, 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 no. <laughs> I, I feel like I had a, I, I had a visceral response to the post, and you know, I, I did drop out of the Envoy program because I, I didn't like the way it was worded and what they were trying to do. And, and there's a lot of different. There was more to it than that. I'm going to talk to you about it more. It wasn't just this, um, but um, the the thing is, is that you know, between the responses that I saw on Reddit, the responses I saw on Discord, the responses I saw from the player voice movement, the, the response that I saw from other content creators was all completely negative and largely in agreement with what I was saying, right? I mean, yeah. <laughs> 1,300 upvotes and 13 downvotes. I mean, I, oh, that's that's a lot of people that yeah. <laughs> were not thrilled and the comment sections all say the same thing. And so what am I supposed to say about this? Like, congratulations for doing the right thing. Congratulations for, for doing the job. Uh, I, w uh, I wish let I- me, Let me push back a little bit because if they're still gonna release all this bad information, we're in the same place before and we're still putting out all this bad information. So I don't, I don't know what this has done. <laughs> all right, so I was pretty spicy in your video. And so uh, I-, I I'm just going to tell you right now that in your video, I was pretty amped up. And so this is a watered down video. I was, I was pissy in your video, right? Are you, I mean, I, I was like oh, all over the place. Uh, I was pretty angry still. And I must I, bring that out of you. <laughs> well, I'm glad that you're, you're calming me down, but here's the, here's the problem is, it's just like the community uh, it's reasonable that information that's given to the community in a timely manner, that be accurate. And uh, if the person can't get the information in a timely manner and the information can't be accurate, I'm talking about the event designer, then they need to be fired. They need to be replaced or they need more people because this is unacceptable. Like uh, this is an expensive game to play and it shouldn't happen. And I and at the end of the day, this is a problem of a bigger this is a symptom of a bigger problem. The problem is, is that the events are too complicated. We don't need agree with that's that. the whole 100%. problem. Think about it. If the event designer or whoever can't give the information or keeps changing the information to, to fine tune it, it's too complicated. If the information changes, it was too complicated. If, if the information is not easily explained to the, whoever published this, I'm guessing it was Archangel, then it's too complicated. If we don't understand the event, it was too complicated. If you make a bad video and the information was wrong and they changed it, it was too complicated. All of it was too complicated. We don't need these events that feed into other events. And the intent is actually kind of slimy. And there's a word that I want to use, but I'm not really good with big words. Ob obfuscate. They're trying to obfuscate the true cost of these events and encourage FOMO and get people to buy, fear of missing out, make the events complicated so that you don't really understand how the event is going in. And at the last minute, you're buying offers. And I've done that before, right? We, it's, yeah. That is the intent of making these events. And so the problem, it, for me anyways, is more about the complication of events in this game in general. And that would not be, an, that would eliminate this problem. We wouldn't need spreadsheets. We wouldn't have problems. Oh my with, goodness. We wouldn't it's have so easy uh, to play. <laughs> yeah. We wouldn't have events that are hard to understand. We wouldn't need 19 different currencies. I mean, none of that would happen if the events were reasonable. And what well, started it started with last with the month long milestone events, right? They, they, all these events that feed into them, but it seems like they designed these events last minute and they don't, they don't have it all designed at once. You know, I would figure once they designed a month long milestone event, they have every single event in their design, everything calculated so that it all feeds into the thing. But we've seen many times before that these month long milestone events, they don't lead up to the, where all these little milestones, they don't lead up to the big milestone. And we're like, Oh, um, here guys let's let's give you this extra stuff because it was supposed to be easy but uh let's give you extra stuff last month is the opposite i finished like the sylvie thing like two weeks early and so i don't think they designed all these events and it's way and you're, what you're saying is accurate 
They're way too complicated. Even the event designers are confusing themselves and they're, it's so complicated. They're figuring stuff out at the last minute and that's why the information is bad because they're doing it at the last minute. It's not like at, at the beginning of the month, they have all these events designed. They've, they figured it out and they're still calculating all this stuff like the day before, which is why it changes when it goes live into the game. And that's, that is, that, I think that's the bigger problem here. Right. And so I think that um, if they wanted to simplify the blog, um, they could do that and they could have a link to the charts or someplace else if they wanted to make it look clear. But the, the point is this, if, if they're going to continue with these complicated events, um, more eyes is better than less eyes with the number of people that are going to have access to the charts. And I used a kind of a, a, a rich analogy about mutual funds like you know i used to work in the financial services <clears throat> sector back in the day you know as a stockbroker and financial advisor and you know if i sold a mutual fund the client would get a prospectus and the prospectus yes. was very thick and the prospectus had all kinds of information and disclosures and complied with government regulations and even though i never read them somebody read them right and th and that's the point about this these blog charts is that the, if the information is made public and, and it's made uh, available to as many people as possible, not just content creators, but people that may not care about YouTube or Twitch or anything like that, they have access to the information so that they can double check the numbers. If they're gonna continue to make them complicated, fine. More people having access to the information because even if I don't read every inch of every chart somebody did, just like the prospectus on a mutual fund. Somebody read the prospectus, hopefully 100%. Is good. That's it. 100%. And even if one person reads that, that information gets out and, and anything weird will get out and we could push the devs to fix that stuff. So yeah, the more, the better. So, and and I thought it was just delaying it, but yeah, I, I think it, it it's gotten back. We're gonna see the blog charts and hopefully, hopefully this causes them to make it more accurate, you know, to, to proofread this stuff to proofing these events, uh, design them beforehand, not not wait to the last minute. So when the, so Archangel's not chasing these event designers at the last minute. He has all this stuff beforehand, weeks, weeks, and weeks beforehand, instead of you know hours before the blog post goes live, or minutes sometimes before the blog goes goes live. Right. Okay. So let's talk about the Envoy program. <laughs> Woo! Uh, where do you want to start with this conversation? Go for it. I'll let you talk. I don't know what to talk about. I, I feel like I, I got some issues, but I just want to talk about how it works and, and what I think about it. But anyways. All where right. So you left the Envoy program. Uh, I'm not sure if you're um, out anything except for some nice PNGs, but recently they've started doing more with Envoy program, right? We've gotten more access to test servers, things like that. Um, and I think you said it best. I was trying to figure out what is the main benefit of the Envoy program, and I think it's accurate information. And I think that's what Scopely wants as well. Uh, in my video, I talked about my first conversation with Cerebra. I'm like, are you sure you want me a part of a program like this? I make a lot of bad videos about Fox Next, which was when the program first started. I was like, yeah, uh, we, just, we just want to make sure that the information you're posted, positive yeah. or negative, is, ac is accurate. Okay. And that's, that's all they've always wanted from our videos. Just be accurate. Yeah, and so I don't know how many content creator programs I've been in, but a handful, maybe more than that, maybe a dozen uh, different content creator programs, and they all are similar in the way that I think that the primary purpose of the content creator program is to give out information to content creators so that the information is as accurate as possible. Sometimes it's even public information. Like, it's not yeah. like secret information. They just want of the videos to be as accurate as possible and then positive I, or negative positive accurate. or negative yeah and this idea that that they tell us what to say or not say that's never been my experience i would not be involved with a uh content creator program I, i'll be frank with you one of the one of the uh, one of the community managers once messaged me and said something i don't think you're really fair about blah 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 and you know what i told him Keep your opinions to yourself. I don't care what you think. <laughs> is that in this program or a previous program? I won't get into it, but I've told okay, community okay, managers okay. that before. <laughs> I, I don't care what you think. Like that was my opinion. You, what the, if you have facts, like facts to give me, I will listen to facts. I don't want your opinion. I don't want you to think if my take is reasonable or not. But if you want to say X, Y, Z is this, 
as a fact, I'll listen to it, but anything, any kind of unsolicited opinion or advice or the way I presented it being fair, unfair, I don't care. I've told them that I don't care. Like keep it to yourself. You know what I mean? That's my opinion on these things. And, and that, and I'm not going to be involved with the content creator program like that. And, and I, and I'm going to say that Scopely does not work that way. Um, they, they, they have, they ever said anything to you? I mean, they, they don't, they, they, they've never said anything about my content, but I did get a response to Cerebro when I was using a, a explicit language and some of the things he's like, all right, make the videos you want. But if you want me to share this with the devs, I, I gotta have like normal conversation points, not all this stuff. And that's the only thing he said, he, you know? So if he wanted me to share with the devs, choose my language carefully, but not necessarily don't be negative or, you know, it just. Watch right. how I say things. And that was only if I wanted to share with the devs. So other than that, no. <laughs> All right. So then there's some give and take, right? The developers get some benefits and then the content creators get some benefit benefits from this idea. And the idea is that sometimes they want feedback or testing or uh, they want to float ideas by the community or by certain people that are NDA early. And, they, and then, then also they receive... Uh, timely bug reporting systems from, you know, largely I like we kind of know how they want the bugs reported. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. th- there's a there's a system uh, and, a, and a processes in place for uh, getting meaningful information to developers to actually fix problems because there's some things that are just not meaningful. And so we've kind of had yeah. to learn that if system, they right? T- they tighten up on that protocol and how to yeah. report bugs and yeah. stuff. Because the developers are looking for very specific ways of replicating problems. So, it, and, and then exchange for all of that, you know, sometimes we have access to builds that are early that we can make videos about or whatever, right? I mean, and that, or or we get fancy artwork or something so that our videos look better, your thumbnails look better. That's it. That's it, right? When we that's, well, that's pretty much some it. Way, there's also sometimes we test stuff and stuff gets shut down based on our feedback. There's some really bad ideas get thrown at us. I'm like, no, don't do that. There's sometimes it throws us bad ideas like, no, don't do it. It gets pushed. Anyway, but you know, there's sometimes we're, we're able to like, no, don't do that. It's gonna be horrible. So yeah. So this is sort this, of trying to make the game better. Is so what, yeah. I left the program and and there is an invite for me to come back. Um, I have some issues and I, and I and I probably discuss it with them. And I'm going to discuss some of the. I have two big issues right now because oh they floated an idea by us that was so incredibly terrible i would be an absolute fool if i went back to the envoy program and then they released it the following week and i will not do yeah. that this this I idea even, I, didn't test, I didn't even test this idea i read about it and it was so bad i didn't even test it um i didn't give any feedback because this is bad uh, yeah, this is bad. <laughs> this is one of the most player unfriendly ideas I've ever heard. There was unanimous outcry that this was a garbage no. trash yeah. idea in the history of this game. There has never been anything more shitty than this idea that they floated past yeah. us. There's gonna and, be a lot of rage and, if, if they implement this. <laughs> if I said what it is. You would not like the company. You would think they're scumbags and actual evil, terrible people. Would you agree? Yeah. 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 I, and, I, I, I was upset with that. I was like, do not do this. I don't even want to say this is bad. Don't. don't. And, it's stupid. And, and um, I floated by you and somebody else that I was just going to say what it was because it is that terrible. And I just like, I don't almost don't care anymore. It's such a bad idea. And, and then part of me is also like, bring it, burn your ground to the game. <laughs> you are so dumb. I just can't believe there's somebody over there that's in charge that thought this was a good idea to even float by uh, I, the, you know, what, whoever, whoever they test stuff it's, with. You it's know? a higher I think, up. It's not, it's not somebody that actually plays the game. Yeah. If, if somebody actually played the game would not implement this. It's some money person at the, at the top that doesn't play this game. Yeah. And, 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 and I know it was more than envoys that, that got this information. It was, yeah. it was several people that were floated this idea. And then the second idea, the second thing that worries me or something that I think is heading in the right direction, even though I'm, I'm skeptical of is the player voice movement. I, 
I, I, you know, I have issues with movements, right? We've talked about that yeah. before, bowel movements specifically. Yeah. No, but, <laughs> no, but uh, the movements, uh, I, I just, you know, I'm skeptical that Scopely will listen, is that right? And I feel like they've made some some progress, right? Like, I don't think it's all been bad. I don't think it's been perfect. And I, I continue to be skeptical. I think it's a learning process and they're trying to make it. Yeah, good, and, I and I heard um, rumors that, that that um they weren't really interested in feedback from free to play players is that well, that's accurate i told you the exact story right it did i word that yeah, correctly I've heard the story yeah. yeah yeah you've heard the story right and there was an analogy made there i'm oh, like that's yeah. not an apples to apples comparison again. that is very different i don't they shouldn't be looking at it like yes that. <laughs> and again if i told you this story you would think they're scumbags right mm. if i told you yeah. the exact story and yeah um what I'm saying is that I, I think it's important that, that Scopely continues to work with the player voice movement. And I think it's important for Scopely to value the thoughts and the voices of all different types of players, not just Krakens, not just heavy spenders, not just content creators, but people that... Everyone actually play this game players engaged actual, players actual players whether they spend or don't spend and but i feel casual players too not just engaged players casual players yeah. too and i and i Super and i casual. and and i've talked to the player voice movement about this at length and and i feel like everybody's on the same page with this everybody is yeah. and i just want to make sure that scopely is does that make sense and and so those are those are my two reservations right there with with getting back um, you know, you know, with Scopely, I, I do feel that there's benefits, uh, to the company and the, the community and myself by having an Envoy program. I think that, um, it allows, uh, for feedback and bug reporting and timely information and accurate information. I, I do think it's a, it's a positive. I know that some people view it as some people here as like shills or, uh, 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 good old boys club, but it just, it doesn't work that way. I, I don't know what to tell you. This is these, these programs are in every game. Every game has these yeah. programs. So it, it is what it is. What do you think? I, I, this is better than some of the other ones I've presented uh, from different games. Uh, a, some of the other games did try to shape the content and control the content, things like that. And it's like, I'm not signing that. I'm not being that part of that. So this, yeah. this is, this is one of the better ones out there. Yeah. So, um, if you have questions about that you're welcome to put that in the comment section and and largely uh, i do take some issue and i mentioned in your video is like uh, you know i have thoughts and opinions on this game and in and, and i have a process on how i mold my thoughts and opinions and my opinions and thoughts are different than your thoughts and opinions right we don't agree no. on everything we don't we don't we don't no. <laughs> we don't and i and if some you know and um I, I, I changed my opinion I and mean, I talked about it in your video about how I changed my opinion, but largely I value uh, the Twitch community and um, for whatever reason, even though they claim I don't read chat, but I do read chat and, and sometimes I'm hard headed and I have to hear the same thing multiple times from people or people bring up things that is happening to them. You know what I'm talking about, right? This is, an ex this, is, this is a shared experience and I don't listen yeah. to everybody or many people actually, but you, but you do get a pulse and, and then my, my thoughts and opinions will change about the game. So if, if you're in the comment section route that disagree with me and my thoughts, you know, my suggestion to you is make your own YouTube channel and leave me alone. <laughs> and you can do whatever you want with your channel and and you can talk to scopely any way you want right go for it but anyways but my you know, my opinions are my opinions and my thoughts are my thoughts and i try to share uh, my experience with playing this game and at the end of the day i just want the game to sir you know to be successful and thrive and everybody have a good experience because i like this game i don't know what to tell you i really really like this yeah, game I mean, as many problems as it has i still like this game i've been playing this game for five years despite all the issues and i've tried many other games i keep coming back to this one yeah and if you want to share your actual thoughts and want me to actually consider them uh twitch is the best way for that i mean i do read the comment section i do read discord i do read reddit but 
uh, most of my um, my opinions are formed from the Twitch. Would you? Where do you, you have opinions and thoughts too? Where do you get yours from? I mean, they change based on your own personal experience. It's, right? I mean, it's in the main sources: Twitch chat, yeah. YouTube comments, Discord chat, DMs, Reddit. You know, all, all the normal social media out there. So all of it forms, and then my actual gameplay experience is probably the most. Yeah, but yeah, all, yeah. All, every it's it's everything. Everything form, forms that opinion. Yeah. All right, so head over to Valley Flying's channel. Holy moly. I was way more level yes, in this video, let's, right? Let's see the rat, guys. Oh, my God, dude. I was kind of, I cussed a little bit in your video. I hope it doesn't get demonetized. Holy moly. Anyways, anything you want to say I before might, we go? I might, I might put some ducks. <laughs> you might some ducks and edit it out. All right. All right, guys. Bye for now.